Hello there, Razzle48 here! And I'm playing this, and Mr. Hazama here is really starting to tick me off, so let's hurry up and finish this up. Oh, and by the way, I was looking over the last part. I'm sorry for the, um, bad quality of Boom Bates' voice and of, uh, the game audio. Uh, I'll, I'll try to fix it. I'm still working on the co-commentary thing to perfect it, so be patient with me on that. But, luckily, we have more Blaze Blue now, and, uh, we'll see... What what else he's gonna try to mock us with? I had the basic bits together, but to refine the sword, I need lots and lots and lots of souls. That's basically what the blaze bloom is. So it's just a bunch of people's souls. So your blaze blue is pretty much a prototype. Well, I mean, kind of. It's like an imitation of the cauldron. Then. When I was refining the sword, the whole thing just kind of went batshit crazy and turned into the Black Beast. So, you're trying to make a sword and you got a giant living creature out of it? Man, you're stupid. Do you even know what you're doing? The Murakumo unit. Oh, good job. Yes, the Murakumo unit on its own is incomplete. It needs the power of the Blaze Blue. That's what the 13th sample was talking about, remember? Whenever they say the 13th sample, they mean new. New 13. The annoying valley girl from the boat scene. Oh god, don't bring that up. This time, though. This time, things are different. Noel Vermilion. She's the first and only subject to contain the true power of the Azure. She doesn't need the grimoire. Yeah, yeah, that's how awesome Noel is. And even though everyone picks on it too, no one understands anyone's true worth in this game. No one understood Ragnar's, and no one understood Noel's either. This game is full of stupid people who can't see what's really going on. And no more vibrating. What's going on? Cutscene! Now, Murakumo, it's time to awaken! This world is nothing but lies, 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 lies! That's a pretty creepy this face world, you got there. I'll show you. I'll show you the truth. The truth called despair! Yep, that's truth. That's, uh, that's, if you look up truth in the dictionary, you'll in see despair. Susanoo, I command you, awaken Murakumo! It's Noel. Get no, your... not Murakumo. Kusanagi, the sword, the god slayer! Your blade will cut away the lies that cover this world! Oh, is that so? It's Noel. <laughs> the Azure is mine! That's a pretty... Try and stop me now, Master Unit. Amaterasu! Jeez, man, you know how to do some pretty creepy faces there. But this isn't looking good for poor Ragna. He's got freaking Noel descending from heaven. All right, Rags, it's time I moseyed on. But I'll leave you with one last little tip. You remember what Life Link is? You and the 13th sample have one. And now, me and the 12th have one too. You know what that means, right? Right! <laughs> you have a Life Link with Noel? Lucky. <laughs> Damn you. Yep. Ra again, Ragnar's acting like it's really hard to pronounce simple words. Ho oh, ho! You do get it. That's right, pal. You wanna kill me? Then you gotta kill innocent little Noel Vermilion too. Oh! Also, you've gotta kill us both at the same time. Shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> no, to be honest, it sounds rather easy. All I gotta do is throw my sword at her and choke you to death. Really simple task. Now that you know what despair really means, feel free to go ahead and die. Yeah, why not? It's the end of the game, probably, anyway. Yep. So that's it, guys. Ragnar... We don't know yet. So... And so, uh, that would be Ragna's story, ladies and gentlemen. And I will actually show you what these are later, when we finish up all the stories. But for now, it's about time we start Gens. 
who's probably one of the most interesting characters uh, of this game. Very interesting guy. He's obsessed with Ragna and has a pretty, pretty cool sword. Not pretty, that, that's not a word. D decisions, decisions, Jin, yes. There's a lot of decisions in this game, most of which lead to bad endings. For him, the simple wake of acting up made, uh, I don't know why I said that incorrectly. It's not a simple wake. I don't know how you do that. Acting is not a thing that is most difficult to do unless you have stage fright. <sighs> not again. Hello, Jin. Glad to see that you're a protagonist now. Sorry, we're not doing Ragnar's story anymore. Is... Why am I in a bed? Where am I? Uh, why are you asking me? I don't know. Yuki Anasa! I see. That's right, I was... I fought my brother, and that's when... Wait! What happened to my brother? Yeah, again, I told you, Jin's obsessed with Ragna. I... I don't have time to lay around here. Damn these wounds! Yo... It sounds painful. Yuki Saragi? You shouldn't be pushing yourself so hard yet. Who the hell are you? Where is this place? I'm... I'm sorry, Major. I'm from the 3rd Thaumaturgia Squad, Warrant Officer Ellen Nelson. This is the medical bay of an NOLR's Magus vessel. Vessel? You mean a ship or a boat? Jen, you're lucky. You're on a boat! <laughs> At least a bunch of crazy things won't happen to you when you're on a boat as stuff did with Ragna. The medical bay? Warrant Officer. What's today's date? It would be 2012, December 21st. Yes, it's January 3rd, sir. No, don't contradict. Oh, so the end of the world's already gone by. I guess the Black Beast was what all, all people thought that the end of the world would be. That's why they said it as such. I've been asleep for three days? Yeah. You, you're you a really tired man. He needs to get his rest so that he could beat the crap out of people with his lifelike sword. Your injuries appeared to be quite serious, so you were brought here for treatment. Warrant Officer Nelson, was it? Who brought me here? I'm afraid I do not know the answer to that question, sir. I was just assigned to this post yesterday. My orders, however, were made perfectly clear. I am to take care of you until your injuries have healed completely. How much you want to bet it was Sly Cooper who brought him here? And who gave you these orders? Hazama. Was given my orders by Captain Hazama, sir. Of course, you get everyone in this game gets orders from the bad guy. That's how. That's how. Um. That's how the po politics work. Everyone gets orders from the person in charge, which 99.9% .9 of the time is the evil character. Captain Hazama Nelson, I'm sorry, but I'm not feeling too well. Could you please leave? You're standing up, and you're. Freaking, uh, NOL suit, Null suit, Null suit, it's new fashion since. Uh, you look fine, Jen. You look just like you did in all the other stances that you've made in this game. Then again, I haven't seen you very much. Yes, sir. Um. What is it? it? It's a great honor to be able to take care of you like this, sir. If you need anything at all, please feel free to call me. And now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, <laughs> she likes him, huh? <laughs> Ours Magus vessel. Judging by how I feel right now, we must be airborne. Aww. This must be one of the NOL ships configured for defense. No boat for you, Jin. Sorry, man. There had to be a transition. Did you call me, Major? I'm a little thirsty. Please bring me a glass of water. Understood. I will return right away. How come he gets to command people around? Why can't I do that? Now. Excuse me, Major. I brought your water. I apologize for this, but. Uh? Oh, that's ow. Now that I have her key card, let's see what her clearance level is. Oh, come on, Jin. Surely a, what is it, Major? Is that it? Yeah, surely a Major like you wouldn't do such cruel things to his co-workers. That should, that would be my guess. Anyway. Level A, I should have known. I was hoping I could commandeer an escape pod, but I guess I'll have to settle for the next best thing. Which is what exactly? Captain Hazama's involved, yet 
There are hardly any guards. Is this a trap? No, there's ha there hasn't been any guards in this whole game. That's because you can't do multiple combat in here. You can only do one-on-one -on -one with the main characters. Most of the main characters aren't even main. Whoa! Circling directly above Kagutsuchi? Why aren't we heading back to HQ? I don't know, Jin. This has to be a trap. No matter. Trap or not, I will allow nothing to deter me from finding my brother. Huh. Okay, yeah, ha, I don't know what was funny, but, oh, God, uh, let me see. Um, I gotta think about this, guys, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I've thought about it, and obviously what you do in these situations is you just wing it, of course, that's what all people should always do. That's a thing that exists, um, save, 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 uh... No, uh, let's not save. I, I'm, not, I'm not exactly in a saving mood at the moment. So, let's see what happens when Jin wings it. What? They're on a beach. How'd this happen? Oh, there aren't no clear sunny beaches in Kagutsuchi, I believe, due to the fact that it was destroyed by the Black Beast. And all the nature's natural, nature's natural, that's a thing, nature's natural elements have been completely destroyed, and I highly doubt that there's something like this still exists. Lots of non-talking text. Tell, am I? You're on a beach, but I don't know where exactly, because this shouldn't exist in your world, Jin. Welcome to the Isle of Ranking. Ooh! The place where everything on your mind will be exposed. Oh god, don't do that! That's an invasion of personal privacy! Everything on my mind? What? Bingo, puppet boy. Jeez, man! Oh, I can already tell this'll be annoying. Who is this islander? I have nary a clue as to what you're talking about. Not that I really care. Anyway, where are you hiding? Show yourself! Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure! <laughs> Are you absolutely sure? Yeah, unless you're naked, of course. Then I wouldn't. Then please stay hidden, by all means. Oh dear God! Will you just spare me with the drama and show yourself already? All righty then. You asked for it. Oh God, no! I'm presenting number three what? in the Jin Kisaragi rankings. Oh, he's got a game show host voice all of a sudden. Bam, bam. Ah, I can't get enough of that Whoa. blank expression. Little Carl's older sister, Nirvana. Where the heck did that come from? What does she have to do with any of this? Huh? Well, how does it feel to place third in the rankings? Uh, what? What? What is this? And why is it like a game show? What is this? I see, I see. It's such a shocking comment. I find it hard to believe that a woman of your stature would ever say such a thing. What? what? Anyway, thank you. Thank you very much. She never says anything! Have you not noticed? Only Carl pretends that he hears stuff from her, but she never says anything. I guarantee you. Just hold up there for a second. Yeah, I gotta figure out what's going on. Seriously, listen to Jin here. Continuing on no. to number two in the Jin Kisaragi ranking. Oh my gosh, this guy just won't shut up. Can you what? Can imagine what those slim white bodies do for me. Oh God. Um, anyway, second place belongs to Bulberg, lovely Noelle's dual guns. What? What? What's her guns got to do with it? What? Hold on. I said, wait a second. We don't even know what's going on. You can't skip the plot and go right to the climax. That's not how stories work. Unbelievable. Second place. How are you feeling right now? That no, it's not a good idea to ask an inanimate object how their emotional feelings are going. See, what did I tell you? They will not say anything. I've asked many inanimate objects questions, none of which have replied to me. I don't know why. Oh my, those comments were just wow. What? Thank you very much. What? Okay, this guy's as insane as Carl is. I said to wait, and now for the grand prize. The top spot in the Jin Kisaragi rankings belongs to. Oh, so exciting! Drum roll! What? 
a thin yet pointy shark body. I can't get enough of it. What? Everyone, a big round of applause for Bang's giant 55 inch nail. Well, congratulations. That's all the time we have, folks. So goodbye.